Am I about to die? <laughs> so, morning! <laughs> so, what, we're not dead yet? Still the cheeriness for my sake. Humph, I see plenty of reason for cheerfulness. If anything, we should be throwing a party for me. <laughs> Don't listen to her. We're no closer to finding a way to fix the engines than we are to invest inventing teleportation. Teleportation is impossible, idiot. Fixing our engine is not. <laughs> Does a concept of a comparison invade you? Don't fight. We need to work together. Where's Kylie? Disobeying direct orders with that bastard <laughs> bastard demon. I wish the commander would listen and finally do something about it. Despite all that trauma earlier, he isn't doing anything to help save us. I find that odd. I don't know. After he had his turn with the radio, that whole angry, bitter facade disappeared, and he went back to being his usual dirtbag self. Odd. Very, very odd. Maybe he finally is at peace with something. Spirituality? Him? Not. Nah, he's up to something again. I know it. Who did he send a message to on the radio? What did he say? Extra privacy, just like Alfonso Faye did. How's my minion doing? I was going to check up on her, but I've been tail deep in wiring, wiring diagrams. Jeez, not taking it very well. She let a very, very depressing howl and burned herself in her data pet. <laughs> what the fuck? So out of all the people to lose on the ship, Faye's like the only person that I wouldn't think, doing, think of doing that. <laughs> She's like, fuck! <laughs> Yeah. So, could you go check up on her again? I already planned on it once. Kiki tells me why. I already planned on it once. Kiki tells me why she wanted all of us here. To throw me in my party. Duh. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I need to go back. Ah, uh, fuck it. Can I tell them? <laughs> Kika's inquisitive eyes boring to me, looking to confirm the trust I need to place in my friends and crew. I don't think it's anything important. <laughs> so, go ahead. I'll tell so after we talked already. Talked anyway. I may have way on tracing the runes from that photo. I'm not all the way there yet, but it's only a matter of time. Runes? What photo? Remember? I told you in the bridge that Kika was translating a photo we managed to rediscover. No! You told me Kiko was working on a solution to our problem, which was the engine thing. I know I did. <laughs> you were exhausted. I thought your memories are accurate. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I told you. I'm pretty sure you didn't. I'm pretty sure that Soul's knowledge of the, of the existence of the photo has no bearing on the rest of the co this conversation. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Good. Now, as I was saying. <clears throat> but she never told me anything. Both of you are the stupidest pair of mages I've met. Shut up, let me talk. <laughs> He's just forgetful. Like I was trying to say, despite this being a bad photo of sloppy carvings, I managed to translate some of it. I was taken at the original site. Correct. If I had to guess, I suspect there was one in the desert as well. Somebody took them before we got there. No way, those one piece scholars could have moved that big rock. <laughs> No, I suspect that our SITO is correct in assuming a third party is ahead of us. With the information they gleaned from the rocks, I'm beginning to understand why they left the crystal behind. They don't want to risk themselves until a proper recovery team was in position. Precisely. What did the rock say? It was a warning. Oh, good. You translate the ancient warning label. Thank you for telling us stuff that is absolutely useless to us now! I would have focused on solving that mystery. You're still an idiot. You still be idiot, idiotly. Don't interrupt me when I'm trying to do my big reveal. You just did it. <laughs> no, that was just a build up. You have to do the reveal properly or it loses all impact. Haven't you ever seen an action fact? Uh, Holovoid? Holovid? Holovoid? Kika, this is real life. <laughs> you have no flair for the dramatic. I like it. Keep going, Kika. <laughs> That's better. It wasn't a warning that 
that touching the thing is dangerous, but that it was the weapon that ended the Chazari civilization. The key to the universe. I had to make an educated guess. The researcher knew he was being chased, so he ran out here to hide it where nobody could ever find or use it. That would be a logical conclusion. Rather boring, though. Do you have a better proposition about what's going on? No. This is I'm obligated to give a counter view. This is just the first piece of the real super weapon. You ran out here to put it in the rest of the super weapon and blow up all the blue crystals in the entire universe. What? <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I was like, what? Huh? What? It was a joke. <laughs> Kika, is there something you know that you aren't telling us? No? <laughs> yes? I was cat. Now it's really not the time to be holding any information back. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Every word out of my mouth has been honest. <laughs> what about the rest of the words you aren't telling us? After I finish deciphering it, I'll be able to tell you that it wasn't a joke and that there really is a super weapon out there that could do this. <laughs> this day keeps getting better and better. What What if people get their hands on this? What if Ralston's come back? Assuming we aren't dead by that point, it would be safe to presume that they would ensure we were. But they're out there right now, laughing their heads off. We did their risk management for them. <laughs> That's why they've been letting us continue ahead, but doing everything they could to thwart our intelligence efforts. They knew of the dangers, but what better way to. F uh, but, uh, oh, damn. But what better way than to see them finish firsthand? So, you said that Stan seemed considerably happy when he got to use the radio in private. I think the best has been more than just a crub, Mr. Oh, god damn. <laughs> I think the best has been more than just a corrupt, misogynistic pervert. <laughs> he has never had an alibi. He attempted to bribe me to gain favor. His behavior has been suspect, and he failed to identify the toxin that Faye has been poisoned with after the attack. That's all circumstantial evidence. Do you have more evidence that would suggest someone else on the, at, the, uh, at the leak? There's no solid proof that even there even is a leak. Your entire story is solely dependent on Zuri's word that she was innocent. I am. Where is the proof? You are the proof. You're the only person who could have translated that photo. If Zuri and the Ralton was the Ralton infiltrator, you and Faye would have been left to die in the desert. <laughs> Zuri risked the life to save you. Does that mean nothing? I'm not trying to be evil here. I'm just trying to make sure all of our bases are covered. You made your point. Zuri's not likely to be the leak. <laughs> As much as I would love to confront the good doctor about this, the fact of the matter is, we are either going to die when the power gives out, or we're going to die when the Imperials show up. <laughs> I doubt we have much time left to prevent either demise. What's our next action? There's only one thing we can do that uh, will protect the most people. You have to smash the crystal. <laughs> have you gotten mad? <laughs> have you gone daft? <laughs> I'm serious. Nobody could be allowed to have this crystal, even if there isn't some super power, super weapon out there. This thing could be used as one. <laughs> so, do you want your family to live in constant fear of a Ralton weapon that could strand them on coin? No, oh, what? That could strand them on coin? She has a point, Natalie. It's just the energy from your fingers was enough to detonate a burst to short out our engine room. They could use it to fry much more. Quinn will stand a chance. None of the director directorship would. Too much of our technology is dependent on Bellino crystals. Shut up, shut up, shut up! We don't know a damn thing about the crystal. <laughs> if we smash it now, we may never know what secrets it may hold. <laughs> but nobody else will either. <laughs> I haven't even finished trying to see the ruins. We don't know if it we don't know for certain if the crystal poses any real threat. The effects are plain to see, you stubborn house cat. You don't have the time. They could be on top of us at any moment. Please, Major Priscilla, I just want a little more time. Find a way to smash this thing won't take very long. We can risk, <laughs> can risk a little more time. Nah, just let me smash it. One or two get hits from my tail will make sure this thing won't harm another person ever again. Let it destroy it. It's for the best. But, oh shit, looks like I'm about to make a choice. <laughs> do what you want to do. What does my opinion matter? We're running out of time, Allie. Your operation, your decision. 
I like the stone attack. It's like that it could fall into the wrong hands. Almost certainly. Even if the wrong ones aren't preparing to swoop in. They got the G as well. Do I trust the rocket in anyone's hands? But there is so much more that could be learned from it. It's in my place to say what is what is and isn't right. Geek is in tears over this. All she wants is a little more time. Are we truly that hard pressed that I can't give an equal give an inquisitive mind just a few more minutes? I trust Soul and Zero in my life, but Kika's advice hasn't been wrong very often. We we Make a choice! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Kids like make a choice. <laughs> oh my god. One second. Games like make a choice. Keep the crystal intact. We smash the crystal. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna keep this bastard intact. Hopefully, I'm making the right choice. Intact. We keep it intact. What? Natalie! Can't be serious! We have to destroy this thing while we have the chance! What's your deal? We have time left. Keep an eye on the senses and watch for any approaching ships. Smashing this thing will take more than a minute. <laughs> will take more than a minute. I trust Kika. <laughs> if this thing is up, we could probably use it against them. <laughs> All right. Unless there's something you aren't telling us. Deciding to keep secrets of your own soul. That's Major Hackett. Major Hackett. What are you telling us? Why can't listen to Star have an have our extra time to make sure there's no way out of this? Tell me, Soul. Kylie says Smith didn't figure, didn't figure on our ship being in operational mode instead of dry dock mode. Are you telling me you didn't turn off non-essential equipment? You stupid cat, I can't turn even the lights off. Everything's automated. Safety regulations dictate that they stay on. Regulations for lighting at a time like this? So that's awful, even for you. Natalie, do you really think I don't, didn't try to turn them off? Our system is hardwired since nobody ever expected a cheap command ship to lose all of that's kind of hard to believe. <laughs> so I'm, I'm reading this as like, okay. It's like, Natalie, do you really think I didn't try to turn them off? Our system is hardwired since nobody ever expected a cheap, ever expected a cheap command ship to lose all generators and be stranded in deep space alone. It's a cheap command ship. They should have thought that through. <laughs> Why would they send this craft into this type of mission? <laughs> you see, this is why I upgrade shit. In Mass Effect, <laughs> so I don't give a shit if I was given like a default ship from whatever planet, right? I just go everywhere throughout the galaxy, upgrading my shit, so I have the best thing on board when I go into the final mission. So that way, I keep my entire crew intact. <laughs> then, how much time do we have? Maybe 15 minutes to save the world. Well, no wait, let's make it bigger than that. We have maybe 15 minutes. To save the universe. Do you think that was an important information for us to know? What the hell? What sort of crappy executive officer are you? It doesn't matter. You got your shot and you blew it. I wouldn't have given the photo any attention if you would have told me. Told me this. You doomed us all. I didn't want you all dreading them that moment. Have it quick and painless. Driven merciful. <laughs> then we have to do it now. It's a shot in the dark, but maybe a brainstorm session in one more time might give us a fix. No, no, no. You have to smash the crystal. Nat. Why would you want to let anyone have such a dangerous thing? I don't want them to have it. But we have to use every minute we have to try and find a solution to our problem. No. If you aren't going to be a warrior, a duel has to be done to protect this innocent. The innocent, then I will. Get back! <laughs> I'm going to smash it! You are not going to smash it! Siri starts. Uh, wow. Siri starts stretching wildly. Till on ours. <laughs> Flailing wildly like a tornado. Kiki to break Katsune. It's only a ground against the chaotic onslaught. But it's only a matter of time before Zuri pushes past. <laughs> Calm down, Zuri! Why won't you stand up for what's right? I thought you were a warrior. Stop gawking and help me stop her! <laughs> In this cramped room, 
the tail is already doing more damage to equipment than cut that costs him what they're not making a year just to get past that thing and stop zero <laughs> damn it's mutiny <laughs> why all crews turn against me what the fuck <laughs> and what the hell is for zuna <laughs> But Thomas to fret. I have to stop Zuri. Friend or not, she's posing a danger to the mission and that crystal. Stop it! Holy crap. So let's write about the force of Zuri in her tail. And Glacy pulled to the side of the head. Okay. Side of the head and the ceiling is spinning like a vortex. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's like unending agony spikes to my head. Damn. Hold it together, Natalie. Lose consciousness now. <laughs> You'll never get it back again. <laughs> Siri, look what you did. You mean what I'm trying to do? No, you scaly girl. Natalie! <laughs> I feel someone grab my hand. The virtue gives me an anchor. or pull this to keep my mind. <laughs> to keep me tied to this reality. Are you alright? <laughs> Ow. Tails got some punch to it. <laughs> Natalie! Stay away. I told you. <laughs> I'll touch you time and time again. <laughs> You're gonna end up hurting someone. Guess what? Let me help. Don't you think of don't you think you've done enough? She's bleeding. Let me help. I know first aid. We don't care, Kiko. We all know first aid. It was part of everyone's training. <laughs> I still know it. Jerk ass. <laughs> Slowly the world begins to return to focus. The spiky pain isn't going away and my shoulder feels damp for some reason. But I can at least maneuver it <laughs> maneuver again. Is it alright? <laughs> It just looks like you just looks like you cut yourself in a test tube when you fell. It'll be fine. No, the crystal. Siri didn't smash it, did she? I want you to let me do the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> I can only i I only can hurt those I care about. So just let me hurt the thing hurting them. <laughs> wow. I wanna be a warrior. <laughs> Sometimes we have to do things we don't like. I wanna smash the cursed thing as much as you do, but Kiki still needs time to work on it. Being a warrior means you have to put faith in your comrades. Even if you think they're doing, even if you think what they're doing isn't always right. Ziri, you're my friend, right? If she is, she's a lousy one. Stop struggling while I bandage this up. She's not a lousy one, so if Ziri didn't follow her heart, she wouldn't be my friend. So please, have faith in me. Have faith in Kika. We'll do the right thing. Okay. I trust you, Nat. And I'm sorry for losing it there. You're okay, right? I didn't hurt you too badly. Maybe if I would have spent more time training with you, <laughs> I could have taken the hit better in dark or dodged it. If I like you knocked me back to earth. <laughs> Even if you might have fractured my skull a bit, I forgive you. <laughs> so, I think I should go. You all don't need me here messing things up any worse. Where do you think you're going? Let go of my tail. <laughs> We're in this together. She's thrashing back and forth again, but Sirius showing. <laughs> Better self control this time. I'm still having a hell of a time holding <laughs> to the thick, scaly tail. But I'm in, when I'm not in danger of going through the <laughs> bulkhead. <laughs> Damn. Let go, let go, let go. So, Kika. <laughs> Damn. Damn it, Zuri. Don't make us drag you back here. <laughs> you don't have time for me melodrama. <laughs> we don't have time for this melodrama. <laughs> then just let me go. If these are going to be my final moments, I want to spend them with friends. <laughs> Friends who hurt you. Friends who care. So like, the swing subsides. Wait a minute. Is Kika wearing a skirt? <laughs> it's like, I think she is. <laughs> it's like, <"Arr?" laughs> I think the first time I saw it, I was like, what? <laughs> Return. I don't know what to do anymore. None of us do lose brain. We stick together nevertheless. <laughs> I don't want to abandon my friends. I just, I just, I just don't know what to do. That's why we have Kika. That's right. Do you actually have any, any ideas right now? Or are you back to bluffing? B bluffing, if you must know. I was hoping one of you might have ideas. Don't we have like 15 minutes to live? <laughs> They're like, we see time on this shit. After all of that, Kika has nothing. But she had a plan. Something that could be gleaned from the crystal. If only there was some way to re resurrect our engine crystal with this one. Rocks with souls is a stupid idea. 
All they are ampli all they are is amplifiers and transmitters that hold and focus. Well, perhaps there's a way that we can do a reverse energy transfer to restore our crystal. So, if you have no idea, what are you talking about? Just don't talk. Better yet, read a book on energy. Do you have a better solution? We could cross compare the wave output and see if we can alter the crystal's composition to restore. <laughs> The same damn thing he said. We're fancier. <laughs> oh my god. Do we have the time for that? Time is ticking. I don't have any ideas that could be done in 10 minutes. Maybe we hadn't tried. Kissing the truth from everyone and let us know how much time we have really had left. I didn't want every. every uh, I don't want everyone counting down the minutes to their deaths. <laughs> Stop it, both of you. There's no time to fight. Natalie, please stay out of this. What if you just stuck the crystal in the engine? Huh? What? You mean just stuck the thing in our engine and fired it up? This is the most stupid thing. Oh, fuck it. We're about to die anyways. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kika? Sorry. I just want to contribute something. It's okay, Zary. Any, any idea is good at this point. It may work. You know, it's a shot in the dark, especially especially one that is so remarkably obvious that a brilliant genius like myself completely overlooked it. <laughs> Wait, I had a good idea. A brilliant one. I knew keeping idiots around was a good idea. <laughs> That's mean. It's a compliment. Man, I've just saved us all and doomed the rest of the galaxy. You puffed up house cat. If the energy from Natalie's revving was enough to destroy, do you really want us pushing primary generator level power through it? <laughs> Hit me up before you try to shut me down. That phase shift isn't going to matter much to the engine. It really just needs the primary focus. We should be able to hardwire the places that need the small crystals. Kika! Hush! Did you just tell a major to hush, Lieutenant? Yes, time is, sh time is short. So I was saying, I should be able to get us in the shift. We don't have to worry about fire frying anyone's engines out there, out here, and I doubt the engine will put us enough to reach no space. We should have to travel through that, through that space. We really need to do hush very well. We'll be in shift outside interact well, outside interaction with regular space. We shut down the engines before we shift out and do an emergency exit. Problem solved. Problem staying solved. This won't hurt anyone? Just our friendly Raltons. They're out there. Personally, I don't care what happens to them. They didn't come try and they didn't come try rest uh, yeah, try rescuing us. <laughs> the innocent people will be spared and we could go. Most likely. Most likely. I look like an engineer with a degree in ancient technology. I'm working on presumptions here. It's better than nothing. Kick and Ziri. You start getting everyone set up for the swap. So I'll go get Kylie. I don't want anyone working in engines who isn't certified. I'll get the repair kit from the bridge. And if this fails, eh, there's a small chance we made everything worse in the rest of the universe. will <laughs> Made everything worse in the, re in the rest of the universe and we'll die. And we die. No risk, no reward. Have faith, alright? Choice. Refuse to let let it go for this. Stick it in the drive. <laughs> Refuse to let it get put in the drive. Stick it in the drive. Have faith. Let's do it! 